going to be working on problem 16 and 16 has four parts so I'm going to kind of let you guys try to do them first so I'll pause real quick see if you can set this equation up um, but again the hint would be um, what is the number of sides of this polygon try to figure out what would be the sum of the interior angles of that and see if you can set up an equation that would obviously help you solve for in this case m so take a second, figure out what would be the interior angles of this polygon, what would those add up to? All right, so let me give you the answer to that question. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sided shape here. So if we use that formula that we had just learned, um, I would do seven minus two, number of sides minus two times 180, and that's gonna give us the sum of or the interior angles. So that's gonna end up being five times 180, which is 900. So all of these angles should add up to 900 for this uh, polygon. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up an equation where I take every single one of these angles. So 138 plus 106 plus M minus nine plus M plus 133 plus 120 plus um, M plus 13 equals 900 degrees. I think I got all of those angles. Yep, I did. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and solve this equation. Now, obviously, this is a crazy big equation, so I'm going to probably want to simplify it a little bit. So I'm going to start by adding all like terms. So let's see here. I got an M plus an M plus an M, so that's 3M. And then I'm going to add all the numbers together, so that's 138 plus... 106 um, minus 9 plus 133 plus 120 plus 13 and I got 501 equals 900 and now I can just go ahead and solve that equation so I'm going to subtract 501 from both sides so 900 minus 501 gives me 399 and I'm going to divide that by 3 now to get M by itself. And M is going to equal 133. So the answer to this first problem is 133. Now let's go on to B. So B is going to look a little something like this. Um, all these angles are the same. Um, so let's start by figuring out what the sum of these interior angles are and then set up an equation to solve it. I'll give you a second to give that a shot on your own. All right, let's 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 go for it. So here we go. By the way, when I give you a second, you can pause the video. You don't actually have to wait for me. But anyway, uh, so let's go ahead. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. So six minus two times 180 is gonna give me the sum of those angles. So this case, that's gonna be four times 180, which is 720. So this is going to be equal to 720, all those interior angles. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six X's. So I could either write X plus X plus X plus X like six times, or I could just write six X means the same thing and then solve that equation pretty quickly. So divide by six, divide by six, and that's gonna give me 120. So the answer to this problem is just straight up 120. All right, let's go do problem. All right, now on to C. Um, so in order to do this problem, I'm gonna give you a quick hint. This is an isosceles triangle up here at the top. You're going to want to try to figure out, obviously, because it's an isosceles, these two angles are the same. You're going to want to figure out what these two angles are first so that this angle, if you know it, you can get this angle, and then you should be able to figure out what K is. So pause the video, see if you can figure out what these angles are, um, and then we will we'll try it next. All right, so to figure out what these two angles are, uh, you're going to subtract 64 from 180 and then divide that by 2 uh, and that would be what one of those angles would be so 180 minus 64 is going to be 186 sorry 116 and then i'm going to divide that by 2 so that means each of these base angles would have to be 58 degrees in order for that to be a perfect triangle and add up to 180. so in order to figure out what this angle is you're going to subtract 58 from 180 because again, those two angles make that straight line. And uh, that's gonna give me 122. So now that you have that, you should be able to actually figure out what K is. So let's start by figuring out how many sides this polygon has. One, two, three, four, five. 
So five side polygon, we already know from earlier that's gonna be 540, but just for giggles and laughs, let's go ahead and use the formula one more time to figure out what those angles add up to. And what do you know? It equals 540. And uh, so I'm gonna set up an equation. So it's gonna be K plus 96 plus 88 plus 122 plus, this is gonna be a 90 obviously, because that's a right angle. So let's, I'm gonna simplify this by adding those numbers up first. So 96 plus 88 plus 122 plus 90 uh, is 396 equals 540. And that should be the equation that I need to solve. So 540 minus uh, 396 is 144. And that would be the answer to that problem. Last but not least, let's take a look at E. So again, I would try to solve this first on your own, and then I will be very quickly uh, showing you the answer. So you can always pause the video, try it first before I show you. All right, so this is a weird one, but this is a one, two, three, four, five side shape. So again, I'm not gonna do the math this time. We know that these angles will add up to 540. I know that there's three Y plus two Y plus 135, but the problem is I don't know what these angles are. Now we're gonna use angle relationships, a little cheat here, because these are both parallel and this is the transversal. These two would be same side interiors and same side interiors, you wanna take a guess, they're not gonna equal each other, they're gonna add up to 180. So I actually don't know what these ones are particular, but I do know that this one plus this one will add up to 180. So when I'm making my equation, I'm gonna say 180 from those two angles plus 135 plus 2y plus 3y will equal 540. Now I'm gonna simplify this a little bit. 2y plus 3y is 5y plus 180 plus 135. Let's simplify that. So that's gonna give me 315 equals 540. And now I just got an equation to solve. So I'm gonna subtract 315 from both sides and get 225 equals 5y, and then I gotta divide by five, and that gives me 45, so y is just gonna end up being 45, okay? And there's those problems. So what you're gonna do next is there's a attendance task with a couple more problems. Just kinda check to see how you're doing on the interior angle sum equation that we had talked about. And then tomorrow I'm gonna come back with a worksheet with some more problems like this for you guys to try. All right, hope you guys have a great day. If you have any other extra questions, you can check me out on office hours from one to two every day. Have a great day.